بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله continue on our study of have mercy upon salafia by sheikh bedr ibn ali ibn taymi al utaybi hafizallah ta'ala the sheikh said yes amongst the salafis today are those who cause the people to flee and test the people in their religion. They harm the Salafi minhaj due to their disgusting statements and strange actions, due to their oppression and ignorance. Why? Because of their oppression and ignorance. In fact, due to their detested hizbiyah for individuals and personalities, due to their criticizing people, who when the same matter is found in who they love, they do not criticize. Ahabatifillah, this characteristic of hypocrisy we have to stop and we have to be cautious of practicing that and we have to be cautious of hezbiyah because hezbiyah is the opposite of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hezbiyah is calling to yourself or calling to your group or calling to your sheikh or calling to your followers or calling to your crew or calling to your hood or calling to whatever it is but this is hezbiyah you're not calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and da'wah is to Allah Dawa to kitabillah, min kitabillah, wa illa sunnah to Rasulullah, or women sunnah to Rasulullah, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, illa sunnah to Rasulullah, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kama qala shaykhana mukbil bin hadi al wadi, Allah yarhamu, shaykhana mukbil bin hadi al wadi, Allah yarhamu, may Allah bless him with jannah to Fardos and forgive him of any of his shortcomings and sins. The Shaykh mentioned that Dawil Allah because he stood firm and fought against Hezbiya. And his Dawa was very well known for that. And one of the statements, a famous statement he, he, he mentioned, he said, the Dawa of Ahlul Sunnah is from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. It's not to his B, it's not to my group, and it's not to uh, overlook the faults of my boys and to criticize the other brothers who are on the same minhaj. However, you see a mistake in them or you see something you dislike in them, so you criticize them for that, but yet you overlook yourselves and you overlook your crew. That's not da'wah illallah. That's not nasiha li ammatil muslimin wala a'immatihim wala kitabillah wala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's not nasiha. That's not the nasiha that Allah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us in the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُوا قَوْلٍ مِمَّا دَاعِ لَاللَّهِ وَعَمَلُوا صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Allahu Akbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem in Surah Al-Fusilat, Ayah 33, He said, And who is better in statement than the one who calls to Allah and does righteous deeds? وَعَمَلُوا صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And he says, verily, I'm from the Muslims. Who's better than that? That means this person is calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're not calling to themselves. They're not calling to the crew. They're not calling to only their mashaykh. But they're calling to Allah, first and foremost. And then what? They make tatbiq of that ilm, as the shaykh was talking about. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنْ قَوْلٌ مِمَّا دَعِ لَلَّهِ وَأَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَةِ And they do righteous deeds. So they're, they're making da'wah Allah, and they're practicing that da'wah by doing righteous deeds. And then they say, verily we are of the Muslims. That's the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah in a nutshell, in that ayah. Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah ta'ala, says about this verse. He says, he says, fi qawlihi ta'ala wa min ahsan qawlun mimma da'a Allah. He says, ay, da'a ibad Allahi ilayhi. He says, call that this person, he said, this means that this person calls the servants of Allah to him, meaning to Allah. He says, So he says, this means that he himself is guided. And 
he is guided with that for which he calls to and he benefits himself and he benefits other than himself. Lazimun wa muta'addi wa laysa huwa min alladhina ya'muruna bil ma'ruf wa la ya'tunuhu wa yanhuna 'anil munkar wa ya'tunuhu bil ya'tamuru bil khair wa yatruku sharr wa yad'u al khalq ila al khaliq tabarak wa ta'ala wa hadhihi 'ammatun fi kulli man da'a ila al khair وهو في نفسه محتدا ورسوله ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم اولى الناس بذلك شيخ الاسلام ابن كثير رحمه الله تعالى he said about this ayat that we were just mentioning he said that this person meaning the one who calls to Allah and who does righteous deeds and uh, uh, and says that he is from the muslims that this he said that this necessitates that this is um, not reciprocal, but this is something that affects him and affects others. And that means he is not from those who call to the good and don't do it. And prohibit the evil and do it, meaning doing the evil. Rather, he uh, invites to good and leaves off evil. Or practices good and leaves off evil, and he calls to the uh, the creation to the Creator to wa Taala, and this is in general for everyone who calls to good, and he himself is guided, and the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the first and uh, you know is the one who truly uh, fits this description. So this is very important tafsir. And this also illustrates what we've been discussing and what the Sheikh is talking about. That Salafis, Ahl Sunnah, they call the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the understanding of the Salafis Ummah. And they rectify themselves. So they practice what they preach. And they are a source of goodness and a light, not a source of darkness and, in dis and discouragement. The Sheikh then said, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he said, in fact, due to their detested hisbiyah for individuals and personalities, due to their criticizing people who in the same matter is found and who they love, they do not criticize. They harm the Salafi Minhaj by propping up people as measures of association and disassociation and love and hatred to the extent that due to, to a person's closeness to them, they are given a certified pass to Salafiyah. These people who they have propped up are not those whom the imams of the religion rely upon. Neither are they themselves from the major well-known imams. It can almost be said that this is detested Hizbiya in the cloak of Salafiyah. Subhanallah. That is an Azim statement, letting us know a habitifillah, because uh, many of our imams have have uh, have made these types of statements, trying to deal with, trying to bring medicine and a cure to the uh, fitna that we face today between Ahl Sunnah. That we have to be careful of this hasbi and making al wala wal bara based upon it. Meaning that if you don't get down with us, you don't come to our masjid, you don't say you're with our brothers, you don't praise brother so-and-so, you don't go to his conference, then you're not Salafi, or you're not to be trusted, or we will refute you, or we will attack your honor and character. No, that's hezbiya, and that's hezbiya bima'na kalima. That is it right there. That's what the hezbis do. And Ahl Sunnah, we distinguish ourselves from that dawah. I don't care if you love my sheikh or not. If someone speaks about Sheikh Mubal, of course I'm going to say, you know, where's your haq in that? Because he was a great imam of Ahl Sunnah, calling the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and refuting the Hizbis. Usually that's a sign that the person is a Hizbi. But I'm still not going to make the empty hand of, na uh, of the people. And I'm still, if you have a personal issue, maybe you had a personal uh, falling out with the sheikh, so you didn't like him because of that, not because of his deen, not because of his tamasik bi Sunnah then that's something else. That's between you and what the sheikh, uh, you know, and the sheikh. 
So I don't call you to love me. I don't call you to love my sheikh. I don't call you to love our ulama uh, necessarily but as specific individuals that you have to have the same view that I have about so-and-so or so-and-so. No. We call in general to the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf. And yes, we love the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. But we don't blind follow them. We don't say the haq is with Sheikh so and so always. The haq, oh, Sheikh so and so said it, then it must be, it's much stronger than the statement of Sheikh so and so or student of knowledge so and so. No. Those statements, we have to look at uh, the, the, the haq in, those, in the statements. And in our. خَيْرٌ وَأَحْسَنُ تَعْوِيلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم that if you have an issue for نَزَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ if you ha have some discrepancy, some, some argument you, you have an issue, uh, some discord between you then return it to the book in the sunnah فَإِنْتَ نَزَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ if you differ in something, then return it to Allah and His Messenger that's what we go back to and we go back to the ulama because they understand kitab Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they're practicing it. But that doesn't mean with Shaykh so-and-so it's always going to be the haq. We still have to look at the statements. Are they in accordance? Because when we see a difference between our ulama, we have to look at where the haq is. We don't say Shaykh so-and-so has the haq always. Oh, Shaykh so-and-so and Shaykh so-and-so have an issue? Well, it has to be with Shaykh so-and-so because he's well-known or because he's he's an alam or la. But rather, we look at the haq if we have the ability to do so. And as the Salaf used to say, يعرف الحق لا يعرف الحق برجال ويعرف الحق بالحق وكما قال وكما قيل. The Salaf used to say that we know the state, we know the truth. Uh, that we don't know the truth by men, but we know men by the truth. So this is very important that we understand that, that we don't blind follow, we don't ta'asab, we don't uh, uh, say the haq is always with us, but the haq is, is the haq. The haq is with Allah wa Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah. And we don't call to ourselves and call to our group and call to our jama'ah and call to our brother so-and-so. But rather we call, we go with the truth wherever it is. So that way we avoid, as the sheikh said, and it can almost be said that this is detested hizbiya in the cloak of salafiyya. We don't want to fall into that what the hizbis have fallen into. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.